Okay, I'm here with a five-time Pro Bowler. I'm here with a guy who wants to win a Super Bowl on this 2024 Jets team. I'm here with the captain of the defense. Mm -mm -mm. How does that feel, <laughs> CJ Mosley? It feels great. You know, another another year, another year at it, another chance, another to prove that we're worthy. So, you know, just looking forward to what's to come. Watching you out there, I feel like. Tell me if I'm wrong. You've got some freedom out there. I feel like you have more of a leadership responsibility, and you're just letting it fly. Are you? You know, does Salah sort of give you the rein to, to switch things up and do what you want out there right now? Um, I'll, in a in a quick answer, yes. Um, you know, we on year, for me, year five of this defense, um, year four, three and four, pretty much all our defense being together. So, you know, we kind of understand the, the basic of our defense. And so now we're just trying to find every, every next step, every little inch. You know, cheating one little gap, try to make us better to win that play. So um, I think that's that's where we're at now. My biggest goal um, that that the coaches gave me this year just be more demonstrative and you know calling out you know what I see. Um, and I think they just give the coaches have given me a lot of confidence to do that. So um, you know I'm on my Ray Lewis slash Luke Keekley style of um, linebacker <laughs> play. So anything that I see, you know I'm calling out to the defense to try to get us that edge. So are you sort of given how much freedom do you have to change things out there? Uh, I would probably say total freedom. So I mean, as long as, as long as I'm confident and you know, I trust I trust my my teammates. You know, I trust the D line is going to get the checks. I trust um, Quincy and you know other linebackers and um, Sherwood. They're going to get the checks across the board, and the DB is going to be able to react off the, um, off our motions and checks. So and, yeah, that trust is well earned. Yeah. By the way, three years under Sala, and you have the peak consistency. You're crushing at 150 plus tackles in each season. So that green dot, you earn that. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> <laughs> and you're excited yeah. and you're smiling. Uh, you know who else was smiling today? Your quarterback. I thought, I feel like I came here and I was hearing doom and, you know, he's so sad and he's fuming all these headlines. He was out there being a jokester today. What's that all about? Um, I'm not sure. You know, I can't control the narrative <laughs> outside of our building. You know, that always change and usually never be accurate. But, um, you know, he's he's came back um, healthy. You know, OTAs, he was here working. Um, he showed up to camp ready to roll, and um, we've been having really good camp. You know, I think he was smiling more because, you know, we had a red zone day, so, you know, they, uh, they got a few more touchdowns than usual. So the first two days have passed, you know, we kind of locked them up. So I think they were just letting off a little a little stress on the he, offensive side. Was he pissing off? I saw him score a couple touchdowns. Did, did, uh, did he piss off the defense today a little bit? I think overall, <laughs> any time, you know, the offense scores on us, especially the red zone, you know, we hold, we hold a lot of pride on keeping, you know, the um, offense out of the end zone, especially running the ball. So um, just got to, you know, go get back in the film room, see, you know, see how we can, you know, play better because, you know, what better quarterback to go up against than Aaron. I think he wants it so bad, and it's understandable. Oh, yeah. He wants it, and it's nice to have somebody who's holding everybody accountable, yeah. I can imagine. Are you the guy that's doing that on defense? Um, yes, I am. But, you know, we all have to hold each other accountable because, you know, no one's perfect. Now I might come in, you know, a little, little sleepy or a little tired, a little sore. I might need to pick me up one of my teammates. Uh, today was a perfect example. You know, we started off a little slow on the defensive side. We had our little break um, during practice and, you know, we tried to get back out there and, you know, finish strong. So, you know, that's what that's what great teams do. You know, they hold each other accountable. I'm not going to ask about Hassan Reddick because you have nothing to do about that. You're here to do your job. And I do want to ask you about Will McDonald off the edge in practice, in pads so far. How do you size him up as a veteran? How do I size him up? Yeah. Um, I size him up you know, by the way he sets his edges, and especially in the run game. Um, you know, teams going to look at him and think he's a you know smaller edge rusher um, defender, but you know he's a very powerful young young guy. So he's been doing a great job of you know setting his edges in the run game. You know, not letting people get um, outside of him. And in the pass game, he's you know one of the best. You know, he can. I'm not going to tell all his moves, but he can get to the quarterback any way he want. <laughs> I feel like. But when I look at Aaron Rodgers, he won a Super Bowl with a great defense. This is a great defense. How much pressure do you feel to deliver uh, for him this year? And what could be the last year? As you said, he got two more years in, in him. Um, I wouldn't say it's pressure. Um, you know, you know that's that's kind of what what we build ourselves off of, especially you know with the team that we've been building the past few years. You know, um, having the expectations to you know be successful and to be great and you know be the last team standing. Um, you know, that's just a standard that we try to build and live by every single day. So I wouldn't say it's pressure, just um, our standard that we want to live by in order to get where we need to get. Is it more of a player set standard? Because every time I hear about like the leader and who's holding who and who accountable, I never hear Salah's name. What is his role in accountability on this Jets team? Um, just 
making sure we our vision is correct. You know, um, at the end of the day, uh, I think you know Coach Briggs says it best. You know, um, they can coach us all day, but you know when we go between the white lines, it's on us. Um, you know, they give us all the tools we can during the week. Then once we cross the lines and put our shoulder pads on, you know, it's up to us to execute. It's up to us to you know show our standards, show our love and regard by the way we run and hit, and we execute our plays. Only a few DBs, I'm reading from this card now, only a few DBs have interceptions off of two of the greatest quarterbacks in our game today, Patrick Mahomes and Josh Allen. You do. You have those, okay? Who's next on the list that you'd love to get one off of? Uh, who we playing? Let's do an Aaron Rodgers yeah. woo-woo manifestation. Well, you know what? I guess, I guess Aaron Rodgers. I haven't got him in practice yet. <laughs> That's a great one. Uh, I'm still – It's hard. so it's hard to get – the pickoff is no looks, you know, because obviously we played against him. But in practice, you know, he's, the pass rush is it's like you're rushing at him, but he can still hold the ball. So it's not easy for me to get a jump in practice. So if I can get a, one of his good no looks and pick it off, I'm, I'm definitely going to celebrate that. Would you rather have an Aaron Rodgers practice meaningless <laughs> interception or do you want, I don't know, let me give you some options here. Purdy week one, Stroud week nine, Tua, brand new deal, Josh Allen again. Who's next? I go with Tua, you know, a little, little <laughs> Alabama connection. Yeah. yeah, that'd be nice. He he's got a few balls past me um, a few times that we played. Um, so I've been like just an inch off, a couple of drifts off the play action. Like um, I kind of know, I kind of know his style, know what he looks in that. So it'd be nice just to finally get the study right and have it pay off. <laughs> You've been through a lot in your career. There's been ups, there's been downs. How do you see the game differently as you're entering this season? I mean, we're going in, you know, this 11th camp, so wow. it's just, you know, one day at a time, you know, you know, understanding your body, you know, understanding, you know, how to, you know, come back as healthy as possible each day, you know, going through the routines. Um, so you can definitely get complacent when, once you understand the defense and been in this long. So now when I watch film, it's like, what's, what's the next step I can take? What's the next thing I can look at to try to help myself but also, you know, inform the defense pre-snap before we go, go out and try to dominate the play? We know you're a stud. We know what you do for this team. Give me a defensive star that I need to keep my eye on that sort of stood out to you in your eyes at this camp. Uh, I'm excited to see Jamie and Sherwood. Okay. Um, so, I mean, I'm no, I don't know how much offense is going to allow us to you know, play, play in our base defense, but, you know, when he steps on the field, he's a playmaker. So I'm um, going to keep it in our room. I'm excited to see what he does this year. Last one for you. I think this, this, this team has to go to the Super Bowl this year. Why is Salah the guy? So I was a guy because, you know, he was picked for this job and, you know, he's withheld that standard um, every single year, you know, that whether every single year that we finish the season, um, his his mindset and, you know, his mentality hasn't changed on, you know, what he wants from our team and uh, what he wants from the coaches. And, you know, I think and you, you have a, you know, a staff and you know, people upstairs that really trust in your head coach and the coaches trust in the coaches. And also the players trust in him. You know, you start to see everybody speak the same way, you know, walk the same way, mm -hmm. go as a family. And, um, and uh, you know, hopefully, you know, obviously with injuries and all that, we can stay as healthy as possible. But, I mean, we have a great team and we know we're building that camaraderie and that, that leadership now on our team. I'm asking it because you were around a guy who won a Super Bowl. You were around John Harbaugh, and who's considered one of the best, most consistent, gets the best out of his players. What's the one, like, specific similarity you see that Harbaugh has that maybe Salah also has? Um, I would say I would say their mindset. Um, mindset. I think I think. With, that goes with you know all the coaches, and I think about Coach Saban. Now that you talk about it, mm. um, you know just the the process that they have, the vision that they want from the team, and not allowing anything to um, pretty much conflict with you know what he wants the team to look like. And you know he wants to have love and regard. You know it sounds simple, but you know that shows. Um, love and regard is shown when you're blocking 20 yards downfield on mm -hmm. offense, trying to break the running back on defense, the backside corner, sprinting to make a tackle that broke you know, 20 yards down the field. So just that type of mentality, every single play that we step on the field. And, you know, when you have enough guys to play that way, you know, great things can happen. Five Pro Bowls, five-time second-team All-Pro. Is this a first-team All-Pro year for C.J. Mosley? I'm waiting on it. You know, I'm trying to, you gotta go trying get to it. Up, uphill the standard. You know, Quincy got one, so um, I did see this offseason that um, Navarro Bowman and, and Patrick Willis, my, I think, might have been the only two linebackers to have first-team All-Pro, so trying to get me and Quincy up there this year with Patrick that. Patrick Willis going to the Hall of Fame, I think, in like three days or yeah, something. What yeah. do you want to say about Patrick? And he was, he was a beast. He was another <laughs> linebacker in the rotation that I watched growing up. Um, you know, old Miss guy. So I saw him, you know, play in the SEC all the time. So, um, yeah, congratulations. Uh, big honor. So 
you know, trying to get up there with you. We love it. I think it's on uh, on the way in the future. You have a very veteran vibe about you, but you kind of always did. Yeah. I feel like you were never one of like the young cats, like you know, doing TikToks in the locker room your time, <laughs> nah, right? No, no TikToks. <laughs> well, I was I was in the league way before TikToks, but still, <laughs> yeah, no TikToks. <laughs> no TikToks. Okay, CJ Mosley coming, I don't know, to a New Orleans Super Bowl near you? 